Hello there, welcome to my video on how to create your Thinkific landing page using the Site Builder. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to use the Site Builder. If you didn't already know, the Site Builder in Thinkific is really designed to help you design without a lot of design skills. So typically, um, when you think about designing you know, a website or a landing page or different pages for your um, website, uh, there's a lot of coding involved. There's a lot of visual, you know, thought to put into the colors. And so the site builder feature really allows you to take advantage of their drag and drop feature, which allows you to pick colors, change fonts, um, all within this platform. So uh, before we get started, I'm just going to show you um, how uh, it all begins. So when you log into your Thinkific site, you will see all your courses. Then you're gonna focus on the design your site tab. Here, uh, this is what I recommend before you even go to the site builder is to focus sort of on the branding and the visual design and colors for your site because then when you design your landing page, it will look a little bit more consistent. So I'm gonna click on the branding and this is where you want to consider uh, uploading a logo and a landing page banner. Uh, once you do that and then you pick the color for your site, um, just through this like panel, you can select and choose colors. You can also, if you have a specific color in mind, uh, you can go online and get the hex code and enter it here. So I just wanted to say that I would recommend starting here with the branding uh, because that will sort of be your first step. Then the next thing is I'm going to go into the uh, course landing page. And this is where I'm going to uh, see all the different courses that I have in my dashboard. And in this dashboard, I'm going to pick a course that I want to create a landing page for. So let's begin. So I've already loaded it here because my uh, internet is a little slow. So here you'll see when I first clicked on the site, uh, they give me lots of different tabs from curriculum, bulk importer settings, landing page, drip, upsell, pricing, after purpose, and publish. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna focus strictly on landing page. So here, this is where we have the opportunity to... Okay, so now that you see uh, this landing page, you'll see that the colors here were from the previous uh, section in the designer site into the branding category, which is, allows us to customize the colors. And so I'm not gonna focus too much on colors, but I will say that um, this is only for demo purposes, but if this was your site, I would definitely choose colors that have a little bit more of a contrast. Sort of like to say, you know, cause right now the blue and blue kind of blends together. Uh, but uh, that's just an FYI. So let's just get started. Uh, page theme is really important. Uh, you want to choose a theme that really resonates with your community. And you want to think about, you know, a theme is really just like a personality. You want to think about the theme as sort of like the personality behind you and personality behind your school. So I've just chosen the horizon theme, but if you don't like it, you can always choose another layout. Um, there's also a Vogue theme and an Empire theme. Each theme has its own particular uh, style and aesthetic, so uh, feel free to uh, do some research onto the themes before you choose one. So I'm going to go ahead and um, activate uh, these different layouts. So uh, the layout right now is very sort of basic. There's not a lot of um, variety. And so I really want to uh, give more of a um, design and sort of public facing uh, profile to uh, this landing page. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate my video course landing page. What this allows me to do is sort of uh, change the style so that I am adding uh, such I'm adding more features to this landing page, such as a video, uh, because right now there's a lot of text. So as you've seen right now, I've activated the video course landing page. The idea behind this is that I want to really give um, people who are coming onto my landing page a little bit more of an overview about what they can expect from my school. Right now, there's a lot of text and there's my bio, which is really you know great and there's some information about the curriculum, but I really want to enhance the look so that it really um, is attractive to people who want to potentially learn and buy from me. 
So the, one of the things that I can do, which I really like, is to edit the banner image. So I don't have a great image, so you can see that there are guidelines and the, I don't have anything right now, but if I were to, I could just uh, click here and find an image uh, from the web, Facebook, like if I had already uploaded to my Facebook page, I could take it from there, Instagram, Google Drive, Dropbox, a OneDrive, and a Cloud Drive, like an Amazon Drive. So there's all these different ways, and then you can also link from a photo list to say you uh, hosted it through Google Photos. You could uh, grab that link and copy it here. Um, you can also search the web for uh, banner images, but the most important image is to have an uh, image uh, that really reflects uh, you and your course. So, and the other thing is you can sort of take the image and really match the title color by picking out colors from here or adding your um, hex code. Uh, you can even add like a subtitle like, you know, learn with Jean um, if you want to, you know, enhance it a little bit more. It really thinks about, you know, this is a way to really convey more about who you are. And then you can add colors if you want. And so when that is done, I'm going to um, make sure to uh, save it so that I don't lose these changes. But before I hit save, I also want to rem remind you that you can, uh, for this landing page, because this is a video landing page, you can import um, a video uh, from YouTube, like if you already had it hosted through YouTube, uh, you can even upload it from Vimeo, or you can use a video from your library. So I can uh, click on from my library and look at what kind of videos I have and pick one to use as my um, kind of public landing page, sort of like initial sort of preview. But most important, I just want to click save because otherwise I don't want to lose those changes. If you think that you spend a lot of time and you don't want to lose the changes. So that's uh, one thing I want to note is about the banner. Some, there's a lot of other key elements uh, such as your course description. And this, I don't have anything right now, but I, let's just say this is about how to uh, build your business in four weeks. I could say this is a course on how to build and scale your business four weeks. And the idea behind this is I'm just creating some gummy text, uh, but I can always um, enhance this by using uh, choosing from the font family. I can also increase this font size. So um, if the course description looks kind of small, I can choose to make it bigger. Um, ultimately, I think the best thing to do is to uh, sort of play with all these different layers and see what you like and what you don't like. So let's just save it. And then we can um, continue and see, I've built this and maybe you can say, oh, I don't really like it, but you know, this is just kind of temporary placeholder because I'm just kind of getting started and getting to know Thinkific. Then um, you want to go to the instructor tab and then add your profile picture. And this is a great way to continue to showcase who you are and serve your personality because you are the teacher and the instructor behind the school. So it's a great, uh, and to, it's really key and really necessary to show who you are. Give yourself a title. Some people, you know, I just wanted to make a fun title and call myself a learning design engineer, but you could even just say simple as instructor. Because um, some people, you know, just prefer instructors. Some people don't have a specific uh, title. And then uh, also don't forget your bio. And feel free to sort of uh, change the bio, not just in terms of text, but also the aesthetic. So as a reminder, you can change the font size, you can change the font type, you can also add colors, you can bold, italicize, um, you can even add links to an audio file, you can add video. There's just so many creative ways you can make this bio a little bit more interactive because right now it's very static. So uh, that's the first part, and then I'm going to second part, and then I'm going to click save. So now uh, successfully updated the course. When you see that uh, green check button that says successfully updated, that's how you know your changes have been live. So let's continue with our landing page. So we've taken care of and shown you the banner, the description, and the instructor. Now I'm going to show you the curriculum. So this is where I haven't put in a lot of you know details on what the course looks like, but um, I can sort of start here and be like, okay, so this is a wind draft, and I want to add another lesson. I'll click on add lesson and I can decide to add an exam. Um, I can add video, quiz, you know, multimedia, PDF survey. Let's just say I'm going to make a survey. 
and just say, um, what are you looking for from the course? And then I can say, you know, what do you want to get out of the course? And I'm just having fun and just uh, testing this out. And remember uh, to click on the right hand side, save, and look for the successfully save the survey to know that those changes were saved. And so you can continue to build um, your curriculum. I like to, Thinkific likes to call them chapters, but I like to think of them in modules. So uh, this would be maybe like an intro module, and then this could be a module one, and then, then I really want to get started into the first week of lessons. So, um, I like to break it up that way, but you can feel free to break it up however that works for you. That just helps me think of it in terms of uh, structuring the lesson by week. And now that that's done, I can then go back to the landing page. And now that the curriculum has been changed, now I want to consider this reviews tab. Now, this is really cool. I think this is a great way to easily click reviews for your course instead of having to send out a survey. So when you click on enable reviews, this means that anytime anyone buys your course, they can automatically uh, leave a review afterwards. And not just feedback, but also a rating. You can also click on manage reviews to then, I don't have it, uh, many, uh, I don't have any right now, but if I did have, then it would show which reviews were there and I can choose to see them and or uh, disable the reviews. So let's go back to our landing page. And so now that I've taken care of and covered the reviews, now if I want to continue to um, build out this business of selling courses, I want to think about what courses I can upsell people. So that means after you buy one course, what other courses can I offer you that you might continue to be interested in? So then I can look at other courses and select which ones I want to promote. So let's just say, I want to promote my Automate Your Thinkific LMS setup. And then I can add this. And so on my landing page, they will see an upsell to this. So remember that um, you always want to think about like, you're not just selling one product, but hopefully uh, you can continue to build loyalty and engagement and retention with your customers so that they can continue and buy more products from you and learn from you and grow with you because that's really what the joy about building this business is it's really a chance for people to learn from you and to study with you along the, their way and to really help them grow and then if you want to create a title for this landing page you can i i don't i just kind of kept this simple for the purpose of this demo and remember to hit save and then i want to go back to my landing page and see that then um I can choose um, uh, based on this is uh, also dependent on the kind of uh, membership and plan that you have. I am a think of it partner, so I have a demo plan, so it doesn't really count against me, but I can choose to um, create different pricing plans. So if you're on the basic, uh, the free plan, you only get to choose one kind of payment uh, price so that you just charge a one time uh, payment. So if you're on um, the basic and or the pro and the growth plan, then you can uh, also offer different price points such as subscription or bundle deals or monthly payment plans, uh, depending on uh, your customers. And so those are all the different ways that you can create different pricing options uh, so that you can make sure that your students and your uh, potential customers can uh, purchase and uh, purchase based on what works for them. And then if you really like, you can base after the one-time payment subscription and monthly plan, you can also set additional pricing. So uh, this is a great way for you to say like, well, you know, I want to charge, you know, different, you know, amounts. So this lets you kind of change uh, the pricing, not just in this section, but also in this section as well. So I am just offering that for free because, you know, I'm not really charging it just for fun. And so now I want to go to my landing page and then um, and that's pretty much it. Remember the key is to first go into your Thinkific platform and click on design your site and click on then branding so that in branding you can customize uh, your colors, um, your brand colors, but also upload a banner that rarely reflects um, your school and your academy and also a logo for your business. I think these are great ways to sort of 
have a profile of your business and let people know what you're about. So I hope that helps and let me know if you have any questions, give a like. Uh, if you like the video, leave a comment and hit subscribe as well. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.